So this will be one of the last in my series of CPU installation tutorials. Now this is actually, what is this? This is an AM2 motherboard. Okay, so you can see it's got the four uh, bolt through, okay, which is standard for AM2. The older LG, uh, LGA, the older socket 754 and 939 only had two bolts, but they did have the same clip system that uh, AMD uses with AM2, AM2+, plus, AM3, 754, and 939. So this is going to be the same CPU installation procedure, regardless of which one of those sockets you're using. So this particular one, yeah, there you can see it says socket AM2 right there. So it's 940 pins, as I recall. So TP you. Now, with the uh, Intel installation videos I did, you could see that there was a protective cover over the socket on the motherboard. Not the case with the AMD. These are not fragile. As long as you don't manage to like drop metal shards or something inside those holes, you're not going to run into any problems with uh, physical contact with the socket. With AMD CPUs, at least the consumer ones at this point, the fragile part is actually on the CPU itself. So this is an AMD Sempron. They usually come in this kind of a clamshell with, uh, with a fuzzy bit at the bottom. And the reason for that is that the CPU actually has all of the pins on it. So you can see that this one, I have not managed to bend any of the pins on yet. I'm notorious for accidentally bending pins on CPUs, but I'm quite good at fixing them at this point. That's the good news. So I got my Sempron, what is this? A 3000 plus or something. I don't know what it is. Haven't used this guy in a while. 3400? I don't know. Okay, so CPU installation on AM2, AM3, and 2 plus, AM3 plus, if that ever exists, I have no idea, is fairly straightforward. You see this little golden triangle on the corner of the CPU? I don't mean the circle on this side, I mean the triangle here. That's going to correspond to a triangle on the CPU socket. So, ah, oh, this is gonna be tough for you to see. And I apologize in advance for that, but I'm gonna see how close I can get here to give you a good look at that triangle. So it's on the corner that I'm showing you right now. I'm gonna try and get you a better look at it if I can. Let me see, it's probably just a matter of getting the lighting just right. I hope I'm looking at the right, yeah, so it's actually, okay. I might just have to describe it Oh no, there we go. Okay, I think you can see it now. If I kind of cover it a little bit. Okay, anyway, there's a little plastic indent in the shape of a triangle. So you line that up. Oh, I didn't even cover the first step. First step is you take the lever here and lift it up. Okay, so you'll see the socket actually moves a little bit when you do that. That's not the motherboard moving, that's the socket. So this is a zip or zero insertion force socket, which means when I line up the triangle with the other triangle, ah, oh, now you can see it. Hey, that's perfect. With the other triangle, and I place it on top, there you go, it dropped here. I'll do this from the side, but it dropped right into the socket without me pressing it in at all. So I just kind of take it, line it up, and then boop, it's in. That's all it takes. So there's, there, there's no real force required. I mean, when you push down the lever, there's a tiny bit, but it's not at all like the Intel sockets. That was it. Then you install your cooler. So I removed it from the protective clamshell, which has the little fuzzy on the bottom to protect the pins, and then put it in the socket. Pretty simple. Thanks for checking out my installation video for AM2, AM3, AM2+, 754, 939. That's it. Oh, I, I'm trying to hit the end recording button, but it's not working. Let's try this one more time.